Good afternoon, my lovelies. I hope you guys are well and feeling amazing. We're doing something a little bit different today and I couldn't contain my excitement. I haven't opened up the box yet, but I got myself my first ever wig today from the amazing style icon. This one is a Victoria in a 26 inch human hair. Um, and I'm so excited. I really just want to open it. Um, I'm feeling a little bit nervous. I've never ordered a wig before. I've never installed a wig before. But as you can see, yeah, this is a work of art. And this is bullshit. Yeah, we need to stop blow drying for a little while. So I'm thinking protective style, Victoria for a couple of months. Um, yeah, it feels like the right thing to do. So I'm so nervous. All right, let me open it. A la box. All right. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay, it's happening. Oh, we got one with bangs as well, just to add. Oh, she's so pretty. Okay. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Come on, baby, don't play with it. Oh, she feels beautiful, oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. And it's not like, I wanted to go with something light or so, kind of like similar to my own hair colour. All right, let's put on. Not me just about to put it on my head like this. Obviously not, we need to do something with this. I think two Frenchies maybe. All right, side note, I definitely should have brushed it out first before I started trying to do this because we're here like having to detangle the hair every second. And also I didn't put on no makeup for this. This was literally just, I just been chilling on the sofa today. Then the doorbell rang. And here we are. All right, let me quickly get through this. I swear, if these are not like the shittest plats in the history of plats. But you know, we just need to be quick. <laughs> All right, I feel like that's fine. All right, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. Also, before you guys come for me in the comments, understand, in the 16th century, it was extremely attractive for women to have big foreheads. It was a sign of beauty. Yep. Yeah, we went straight in with the cat. I was going to try and put it on my hair, but it just felt stupid to do that because my hair's quite dark. So, yeah. All right, cool. Cap is secure. Hair is away. Let's get it. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, my God, I'm so nervous. I don't know why I'm so fucking nervous. This is just silly. Right, she's stunning. Oops. Whoopsie. We don't leave that in there, do we? That could be embarrassing. All right. <clears throat> How are we going to do this now? I haven't fastened the things at the back. Does you think it matters? Does it matter? All right. Do you know what? Just for this here experiment, I'm just going to go in with it. <sighs> okay. J give it a minute. Give it a minute. Okay. I've got the brush here because I knew that the fringe would be wild. So right off the bat. All right. I mean, she's on. She's definitely on, and I already knew that the fringe would need some sorting out because I don't know what that just was, but it weren't great. Oh, okay. Let me fix her up a little bit. Give her a little brush down, you know. It's a good, like, the thickness is nice. It's not too thick and unrealistic, and it's also not thin. And shitty. This is beautiful. What do we think? You know what we do need to do though? There was like a little line in the fringe that was really pissing me off. It used to happen when I actually had a fringe for real. So, yeah, I think a little bit of tweaking. Oh, see, that's so much better already. A little bit of tweaking, a little chop of the fringe. And like, I don't know what, but I feel like this works good as far as a cover-up like a protective style really good quality fantastic value style icon it's a go 